dilution, um, let's say, um, just for example, they ask you to make two milliliters of 10 milligrams deciliter cortisone dilution. What's given to you is a whole jug full of a uh, concentration of uh, 40 milligrams uh, deciliter and then also a saline solution. So the first step will be, let's organize it. And then the second step uh, will be, it's usually V1, C1 um, equals uh, C2, V2, but uh, just because the, um, the way we say it, the two, milli two milliliters of a certain uh, solution, uh, I start off with V1, C1 equals B2, C2. Uh, and it'll make more sense in a second. So first we'll, or uh, we'll organize it. So let's put stock and then we'll put our solvent. Solvent uh, V, just think of, it, it does the dissolving. And then at the end we'll have our dilution. Okay, uh, right here we'll have, we'll put in our MLs of something, MLs of our solvent in this case is uh, our saline solution. So we'll put saline solution. It has a concentration. Uh, this one is okay without. And milliliters of. Um, so we're missing these areas here. This is our, gonna be our, our, our go-to charts or just to organize it. So what's given to us is our stock, which is uh, uh, 40 milligrams of deciliters. Uh, that's given to us, and also our saline solution. But what's uh, what's required from us is to make two milliliters of 10 milligrams uh, deciliters. Okay. So it's basically as asking us, okay, how much are we supposed to pull uh, using the syringe or uh, barometer, and then also from here to make our, our our dilution. So then the next step will be to put in our B ones, C ones, and our B2, C twos. We'll box them, make it a little bit easier. Then we'll have B1 here, we'll have our C1 there, B2 there, and we'll have our C2 there. Okay, continuing on with the second step. B1, C1 equals B2, C2. Uh, what are we looking for particularly? We're actually looking for V1, so let's go ahead and circle that so we can know what we need to cancel out. So basic algebra, in order to uh, get the V1 by itself, we'll go ahead and put the C1, divide it, that to the other side as well. That cancels out uh, the C1, so now we have V1 equals V2, C2 over C1. Okay, V1 again equals, what is our V2? Two milliliters. What is our C2? 10 milligrams over, deciliter, over one deciliter over our C1, C1. 40 milligrams over one deciliter. Um, our liters cancel out, and is, uh, what's left is our milliliters. So once we do uh, that, we will get 0 0.5 milliliters. We'll just go ahead and move that over. Boom, there to V1. So 0 0.5 milliliters of 40 milligrams deciliters. And that's how much we're going to pull from, let's say, this syringe. So 0 0.5 milliliters. How much saline solution are we going to um, pull? Um, well, basically, 0 0.5. How, um, plus how much makes two milliliters? Um, simple math, 1.5 plus 0.5 give us two, gives us uh, two milliliters. So now we're going to pull from over here from our saline solution, 1.5 milliliters. Um, so 0 0.5 uh, from our stock, 1.5 from our saline solution will give us our two milliliters. of 10 milligrams over a deciliter. 
and that's a simple dilution made easier just using these two steps to organize it and then put in our B1C1 is equal to B2C2. Uh, let's go ahead and move over to our serial dilution using the same steps. Um, it's asking us now to make two milliliters of a two milligrams uh, deciliters. But since it's a serial dilution, we don't we're we're not going to no longer use our stock, which will be this guy. We do not use this anymore. We are not we are now going to use our new stock, our 10 milligrams of a deciliters, um, which is written here also. So again, we'll start over with our steps. Okay, so we'll write stock. We'll write our solvent, which is the one that does the dissolving. And then our dilution. Okay, we'll put in our, uh, whatever is required of us, of our units. For now, we'll just put milliliters. Um, of, okay, uh, so our stock, again, we pulled it from our previous one that we solved. Or 10 milligrams over deciliters. But what's required from us is that on this next zero dilution is that it wants us to make two milliliters of two milligrams over one deciliter. So now we, that's basically, in other words, that's also known as dilution. So it wants us to make this. So we'll just write this down here. Two milligrams over one deciliter. All right, so now, Let's write what we're missing. Um, again, this is the organizing part. And now our next step, step two, B1, C1, B2, C2. Going to the second step, R equals B1, C1 equals B2, uh, C2. And then once we have that, what, what are we missing from here? We're missing our B1. So let's go ahead and circle that so we can know what we are canceling or what we need. So let's go ahead and do C1 to cancel the C1s. Do from the left side, you also have to do in the right side. C1s cancel out. B1 equals B2, C2 um, over C1. Um, this is the first, step, uh, second step from the organizing. Now the B1 equals, what is our B2? B2 will be two milliliters times our C2, which is two milligrams over one deciliter, and then C1. So you, this is, um, it helps again, organizing. Um, C1 is right there. You can always refer back to it um, if you have questions or concerns about it. Okay, now the milligrams and deciliters will cancel out. Now we have our V1 will equal to zero point four hundred milliliters. Uh, let's see. Great. So then this uh, zero point four hundred, we'll go ahead and move that guy right there, 0 0.400 milliliters of our stock. So again, our stock, let's say this is our stock of, of our 10 milligrams over deciliters. And then this is our um, saline solution. Okay, so then from your stock um, that you used before, uh, not the original, but these, the, the one you made, we're going, going to ahead, uh, go ahead and pull 0.400 milliliters of this one, and then how much saline solution you need is the difference. So you have uh, 0.400 milliliters um, plus what equals two milliliters? It's 1.6 uh, milliliters, and that's pretty much it for that. Serial dilution is not too much. Um, just follow the steps and be organized, I guess. <laughs>